Hi, Elsie Harold here, and today I'm going to be talking about an article I came across last night. A pretty alarming article about the global tipping point uh, that's fast approaching our planet. I wasn't sure exactly what that was, so I had to do a little bit of research, but I'll go ahead and post a link below in the description box so you can check it out. Um, but if you haven't noticed, the temperatures, uh, especially in the U.S., have been a little warmer than usual, especially in the past year. And uh, the average U.S. temperatures between March and May was actually 5.2 degrees Fahrenheit above the long-term average uh, from 1901 to 2000. So while May was the second warmest on record, it was still in the top third for monthly average temperatures, contributing to, one, the warmest spring we've, we've ever had, two, the warmest year-to-date we've ever had, and three, the warmest consecutive 12-month period. Um, actually, I, I take that back. I don't want to say that the nation has ever had because we've only been recording uh, the weather since 1895 so at least in the past century or so but anyway the warm spring weather in the US was uh, partially due to the waning La Nina and long-term climate changes and uh, we've seen the effects of this in the past year with the eastern seaboard and upper Midwest uh, getting dumps of rain and being uh, wetter than the average while in my area and I live in the southwest uh, we've had an ongoing drought uh, combined with high winds and that creates a nice little haven for wildfires to happen. Okay, so wildfires and drought in my area and then heavy rains in the eastern seaboard and upper Midwest. Now, that being said, these extreme shifts in the weather patterns uh, could, if you think about it, could have uh, sudden and unpredictable effects on the global ecosystem. Okay, and just to give you an idea, uh, with uh, heat waves and with heat waves and drought, you're gonna obviously have forest fires start and with the forest fires um, that contributes to the carbon cycle, and then with the drought uh, killing our crops, that's gonna contribute to food and water shortages. You've got melting glaciers which in turn will affect the rising sea levels and screw up the marine ecosystems. And we've seen proof of that with my last few videos on the mass marine die-offs in South America. Um, you know, but the list goes on and on with the problems that the Earth is going to have uh, the closer we get to uh, environmental state shift. And the, art the article that I read uh, stated that there were 18 well-respected scientists from around the world. And these scientists, mind you, um, have uh, a lot of experience and research uh, to back them up. But they all suggest that our planet's ecosystems are creating towards a quote-unquote imminent and irreversible collapse. Now, that's a little scary to think about. Um, but the Earth's accelerating loss of Biodiversity is a precursor to reaching a planetary tipping point. Again, that means that our ecosystem is going to completely flip on us and we will all be fucked. Uh, what's even scarier is that they're saying that it could possibly be reached in this century, if not uh, by the year 2100. I know it sounds a long ways away, but uh, it could be sooner than that. You know, so. Um, for those of you who are, are young like me, uh, it's something to be worried about. And uh, mind you, it, these kind of things happen over, you know, it could happen over a period of, of a thousand years. It's just that we're a little bit closer uh, <clears throat> to the point of change. And to give you an idea of how serious this is, the last uh, tipping point that the Earth had was about uh, 12,000 years ago when the earth went from the ice age to its current interglacial state so we're talking night and day here and uh the way things are looking right now i think there's going to turn into venus and we're all going to cook in our own little crock pot so things you should probably prepare for in light of this subject uh with the impending droughts that we're having and warmer temperatures uh prepare for food and water shortages you know um you can never have too much uh, reserve uh, food and water. Also, with that, you're gonna probably uh, run into some social unrest. So be sure you're prepared for that. Uh, know how to defend yourself, etc., etc. All right. Don't forget to visit our website at www.10-78.info for more on this subject and other prepper survivalist issues.